Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at a new feature for Unreal Engine 5.1, which is Nanite Foliage and Nanite Trees, Grass, whatever you call it. Anything green is going to be Nanite enabled in 5.1. Now, I've been making videos about this for the past couple of months, but I feel like the recent release of the 5.1 in Git is actually the best one I've seen so far. So what I'm going to do today is, even though it says this 4.27, I'm gonna use this in 5.1 and then nanite it and then kind of show that to you and see what that looks like. All right, now this is not gonna be an environment tutorial, but I am gonna create something really small so that we can kind of play around with it. Uh, with that being said, I'm using this and I'm using Mavi's Birch Forest as well. I'm just gonna use this system. And again, one of the good things about Mavi's maps is that it comes with some procedural system that we can use with any projects. And it just sucks because it doesn't make maps anymore. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and delete this floor. We're not gonna need it. I'll delete the sky sphere as well. And then I'm gonna create a new landscape. Just a small one, maybe a four by four. I'm not gonna tweak any of these settings. And, and what I'll do, I'll just sculpt it around a little bit, give it a little bit of a bump. So it's not too flat, you know, a little bit of a donk a donk don't hurt. Let's just go ahead and randomly you know make everything kind of bumpy because it is a forest kind of scene right so it's not going to be flat never seen a flat forest before so I'll zoom out here and i'll change the tool strength or whatever and just really just mess around like that All right so that's perfect and then i'll go to the selection i'll select that landscape and again we're going to use mavi's birch forest let's go to materials go to master and then I'm gonna use his landscape master material here. And I'll just drag and drop it in our scene. And then what I'll do is go back to the uh, landscape here. And if I go to paint, I'm gonna scroll down again. It's all pre-made. I'm just gonna go ahead and select the asset layers, info, stones. And again, you can customize this if you want, but for now, this is going to work. And as you can see, we just generated a quick, dirty dirt kind of forest floor if you will. Uh, you can customize these if you want to, but like I said, this is gonna be a quick tutorial. So it's looking pretty good now. And what I'll do is I'll go back to selection mode. Now the procedural volume spawner is not working well with this release. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna manually paint the trees onto our scene here, right? To do that, we're gonna go to again, Maui's forest and we're gonna go to foliage and trees. We have, he has some static mesh foliage here that was gonna replace with the alder map. And I'll double click this here and I'll type in alder because what we actually want is the pivot uh, painter version. So if I scroll down, you're going to see uh, we're going to see black alder field 01 PP and I'll save that. Double click the next one and type alder again. And we're going to go to the 2 PP, 3 PP, 4 PPs. Go to this one and I think this is 5 PPs. Got to have 6 PPs in there. So, all right, so I'm going to save. And then what I'll do is I'll go search the trees because we're going to go ahead and turn them all into nanites. So I'll just control A. I think some of these are already nanite enabled. So I'm just going to click enable nanite for selected. Now before I would get a crash for this, but like I said, this version is a lot stable. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go to content browser. And what I will do is actually go to the foliage. I'm sorry, I can't say that correctly. Um, and what I'll do is go to back and then I'll go back to this foliage here, the trees, and I'm going to drag and drop all of this here. And let's make this bigger. I'll go to select, and just control A and select all of that and then go to paint. And basically we're just gonna paint away, but before I do that, we can try to put some rocks in there as well. Again, this comes already pre-built. And then I go get some debris as well to just add some randomness in our scene here. Control A, I'll select everything. And then I'm gonna go ahead and paint away. All right, so here we go. All right, so let's go down here and check it out. It's looking pretty solid. As you can see, there's a, the leaves are moving, so it's not just kind of steady. Add some more, because I actually wanna just fill this scene in here. Okay, so this is starting to look pretty good. Obviously, we could put more stuff on the ground but I'm pretty happy with this for now. This is just a demo after all. And I'll go ahead and save, and I'll just title this Nanite Tut, however you want to spell Nanite. 
All right, and then what I'll do again, I'll just go to the medieval knights, go to meshes. These are all just static meshes. Let's go to this first one. And uh, they do have a rigged one, but the problem is if you look at this uh, materials, the cloth is all tied into the same material, so you can't simulate the cloth in Unreal, which kind of stinks. That's the same one. So let's go ahead and drag and drop a different one. So kind of just hanging out. And again, the cool thing is, I'm hoping, I mean, look at that. I'm hoping one day, eventually, we would kind of get a lot more high quality, photorealistic scan trees in the marketplace. Which again sucks because I thought Mavi was gonna like really dominate the market with photorealistic trees because he was doing it already. He has all the source trees. He could potentially just release it again, but this time in high quality nanite. But I don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared. So I'm just painting some more stuff here. All right. Okay, so we have now these characters. Looking pretty good, but there is a rock. Oh man, there's like a rock that spawned right there. <laughs> that got created and it's just this one. That's so strange. So I'll go ahead and go back. And you know, this just looks good, man. This reminds me of uh, a good old movie I used to watch. So again, a couple of days ago, I kind of made a video about this new anamorphic camera that now they have in engine. So we're going to play around with that a little bit. So I'll create a new sequence. And I'll just title that Knights of Me. And, and I'll create a new camera. And I'll try to frame them here. And if I go to the right side, I'll change this to 2.39. And if you haven't seen my anamorphic video, go check it out, put it in the top right corner. I'll increase the squeeze factor. And again, I'll go to like 180. So we can really get some nice depth of field. And then what I'll do is I'll change the focus setting and I'll just select one of them since they're just one mesh anyway. And this is, yeah, that's right on point. Maybe I can find a different framing. And you see the leaves are all vertical and nice. It's freaking amazing. Matter of fact, I think what I'm going to do is just focus on this guy right here. Yeah, I'm just going to focus on one of them. Cool. Obviously, the character is pretty low quality there. But uh, the final piece to this puzzle, obviously, is going to be, again, a new feature in 5.1, which I've made videos about. It's going to be path tracing. And this looks pretty darn good. Obviously, it's still resolving. All right, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna try and frame this guy. I feel like he's better looking anyway. And then I'll go switch to path tracing. And I'm just gonna remove the second one because he's just making a mess. Looks like the depth of field right here is kind of jacked up. So I'll move it a little bit more. Or just kind of push in. Or I can maybe just move him to the left. But this is looking fantastic. And again, these are all nanite trees and foliage and stuff. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Yo, so that's pretty much it. I just showcased uh, kind of Nanite in 5.1, a little bit of path tracing, and then the new anamorphic camera uh, in Unreal Engine 5.1. This is actually a pretty darn exciting release, and I can't wait for it to come out uh, publicly so y'all can play around with it as well. With that being said, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe in my channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers, hopefully by next year. Uh, like always, if you have any questions, let me know. I'll see y'all later.